Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to work on um, weaving and we're going to be weaving in this mesh. Before you start weaving, when you get your fencing, you're going to go to the top of the fencing and I'd like you to please write with a sharpie your name and your room number. I don't have a number, mine's art, so I'm going to put art. And then you are ready to start your weaving. You're going to go over to the bin and you're going to choose any kind of ribbon, yarn, or fabrics that are strips and you're going to cut them to be the width of your table. We're actually going to be weaving across and so what you're going to do is you're going to take your material and you're going to go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, pull it through. If you are interested, you can check that it's flat. It kind of looks better when you keep it flat. And slide it up. Take your next one. Now, last time I was here, I went over. I mean, I went under. See how I went under there? So this time I'm going to go over, under, over, under. The opposite of whatever I did last time is what I have to do this time. If I get confused, I just look, look. Last time I was here, I went under it. So this time I'm going to go over, and I'm going to go under, and over, and under. Pull it through, <clears throat> and slide it up. You can use ribbon for this. Ribbon works nicely, too. Take my ribbon. <clears throat> Last time I was here, I went over, so this time I'm going to go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Pull it through. Now, for this one, because it was wide, I can decide, do I want to keep it wide or do I want to smoosh it up? I think I'd like it to be smooshed up. So I am going to add and squeeze in another one. I'm going to go with this one this time. And it's going to go opposite again, over, under. This one's a little ornery. It has wire in it, so it's a little bit harder. Over, under. Over, under. Over, under. It's getting a little trickier because it's getting tight in these squares. Over, under. Over, under. And pull it through. And that's the way you're going to continue patterning. I'll now do, this looks pretty full, so now I'll start making my weavings in the next box. And you just keep filling each and every box with the pattern of under over. Good luck.